as we're going to be learning, all of us are going to be learning more about research. Um, the registering body RO has agreed that we can all be eligible for five CBD points. Mm. And um, so, so the time we invest in um, putting our effort into the project, um, we'll get a benefit as well. So I think that's really important. Uh, and even just that process of reflecting on whatever it is that we're learning through being part of this research project is going to enhance our understanding of um, some aspects of how to be a homeopath and also how to um, undertake practitioner-based research because that's really what this project is. Yeah. It's, um, it's, not, it's not research where we're looking at um, the effect of how does a particular remedy help in a particular pathology. It's not clinical trial. It's observational research when we're writing an article to be published, we need to be able to say that homeopaths in Australia treat X number of conditions, predominantly depression and eczema or whatever it is, because we don't actually know. It doesn't matter if you're seeing 50 people a day, which we know is unlikely. It doesn't matter if you're only seeing one person a day. It doesn't matter if you're only seeing one person a month. We really need to know that. We need to know what's actually happening in Australia, how many people are, are coming to the homeopath. And I think people feel a little bit daunted about that. They feel like they're not busy enough to participate, but that's really important that we gather everybody. What, it, what is everybody doing? They're on a holiday for a month while the survey's going. Well, that's just a snapshot of what's actually happening in practice. Like when you go through the registration process, there is a lot of information. There is a lot to read. Yeah. Um, that is the hardest part of participating is actually joining up. Yeah. And the reason it's like that is because to get the human ethics approval, we have to go through this process of informed consent and to get informed consent from a homeopath or a practitioner, it takes a lot. It means that they need to understand everything about the project. We can't just go, Oh yeah, we've got this project. You could just sign up and record your data and yada, 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 it's all simple. Five seconds later, you're in and you can just start recording data. You have to go through this process to um, undergo this sort of scientific pathway that we're trying to follow yeah. um, so that our research data is legitimate and is accepted. Yeah. So it's, it's, it looks daunting at the start, but please don't be too daunted by it. And, and just ask one of us. We'll ask one of the research team, get in contact with us and we'll help you through it because seriously, it's not difficult. There is a lot of words, but at the end of the day, it's just bringing you up to date and up to speed with what is the project about and what are your responsibilities yeah. in the project. Any technical difficulty, there's lots of little videos that have been made for people to be able to follow through and try and work it out. Mm. And if not, like you said, they can ring up and ask a question.